Hey guys, um, so I'm just back with another grocery haul video. Um, a couple of people got in touch and said that they found last week's really helpful, so I thought, why not do it again? Um, so I've just got back from Morrison's, same shop, and a couple of things, I've got like a couple of things that I got last time, but, and I've also got my food plan here with me, just so I can, if I forget, I can sort of like reference my food plan and let you know what the intention of buying the item of food was. So I'll start off with um, fruit and vegetables because that's probably the majority of um, like the, the, the bulk of the, the haul. So I won on the um, orange, yellow, tomato prize today. Um, I saw these packs and there's the majority of them are orange and yellow which are my favourite favourite kinds and these are just awesome for snacking on, adding to salads and meals just to bulk them out but the, um, the, I do use these more often than not as my snack because they're just kind of like, I just find them, they tick all the boxes, they're kind of sweet and savoury at the same time really low calorie tomatoes are incredibly good for you um yeah um i picked up some boot, beet beet root some beetroot this week this is to have with my um, i've got like a i'm gonna have an egg salad at some point this week um really like beetroot so i thought i'll i'll pop that in with my salad and also it's there if as like a snack option because I don't think I'll use the whole punnet on my salad. Um, I grabbed a mango. I love mango. Uh, I got a little bit obsessed with this a couple of weeks ago and I was thinking, I've not been particularly great over the weekend in terms of like not having high sugar, uh, like desserty type things. Um, so I was thinking on an evening, if I am craving something sweet that little bit later on I'm gonna try and have like a really nice fruit salad um, mangoes I usually tend to like cut them open and then just eat them as like a, a whole so I don't know whether that will whether this is gonna end up in fruit salads or or whether it's just gonna be there for when I'm really craving something sweet but I saw it and I was like I've not had a mango in a while like to mix things up keep things a little bit different so grabbed him also kind of on the same train of thought i got two kiwis um one is a little bit more softer than the other one so this one can ripen a little bit longer um i used to eat kiwis quite a lot and I haven't had them in years. And they're just so yummy. They taste like a little dessert just on their own. So saw them and it was like, same same train of thought, not had them in a while. Good to mix things up and keep things a little bit different. Um, so yeah, two kiwis. Um, I got a bunch of raspberries, blueberries, blackberries these are i like to have my coconut yogurt and berry with some form of like granola or like a um a mushed up kind of like shredded wheat over the top um so for breakfast and sort of like late night fruit salads late night i mean hopefully not too late night because i don't really like eating so close to going to bed but you know where them cravings are there it's good just to have something to grab that's healthy rather than sort of going completely off the rails now i got some rhubarb i really do enjoy rhubarb and i'm not sure like i, I don't know if you can eat this raw but I was thinking it gives like that, um, I really like sour sweets and things that taste sour and rhubarb has that kind of natural sour taste to it and I'm thinking that it might just replace that sort of sour sweet craving. 
Um, it's also just really tasty and it's something a little bit different. It's obviously in season right now. Um, so it's not it's not sort of like every month that you see it in the supermarket. So I'm thinking I might I might um one night maybe just uh boil some up with a little bit of sort of organic co um coconut sugar over the top or something like that, just as just as like a little bit of a pudding, but obviously it's still healthy and low calorie. Um but yeah, I really fancied some rhubarb, so it wasn't on my list, but I saw it and I thought I'm gonna get me some rhubarb. Um I got a bunch of peppers. Uh red, yellow, orange. There's the yellow one. Um these are for snacking and we're gonna have chicken fajitas on Friday night, so these are to sort of like make the fajitas with as well as snacking. Um got me some jumbo salad onions again. Obviously for salads, I got an onion. This is going to be, well, I just like to have onions anyway because they're a good addition to most things. Um, fajitas, we're gonna have a beef, a beef stew on Saturday. So the recipe required um, half an onion. So there we go. Uh, I got a little garlic. I add garlic to most things, but also the beef stew, I didn't really have any fresh garlic left. I got a, um, a vegetable stir fry mix this time. Again, incredibly lazy, but I didn't really, none of the recipes this week called for things like pak choy or, you know, cabbage or anything like that. I mean, I could have made it all work, but I'm trying to keep as much variety as possible. So the, although it's incredibly lazy and, you know, plastic and stuff, I just think it cuts down on my waste because if I was to buy a whole like pak choy, a whole cabbage, a whole broccoli and that kind of thing, I don't think it would get used. So yeah, we're gonna have, I'm going to make a chicken and garlic stir fry. I think tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, Wednesday evening. Um, so that is for that. I also grab some bean sprouts. Really great tip. I love noodles, huge, huge, huge noodle fan. My favorite noodle is rice noodles. Um, and when I bulk out my stir fries with bean sprouts, I don't notice that noodles aren't there and don't really miss them because they're kind of a similar texture. Well, a little bit more crunchy, but if you like crispy noodles, then they're perfect. Um, but yeah, kind of the same thing, so. If you're looking for like a low carb alternative, bean sprouts are great. Have to cook them though. Don't eat them raw, really bad raw. I got a couple of packets of um, salad mix. Uh, the Just the mixed one and the crispy one. Again, really, really lazy, but I'm just liking the fact I can just throw a salad together really quickly or, you know, if I want to add some salad on the side of a meal, it's just there. Uh, really convenient and lazy, got no excuse, but I don't, like I said, I don't care. It's just this how I'm doing it. So I got some Mediterranean uh, roasting vegetables. Again, I could have bought all these and chopped them up and done the done this but you know it's, I'm just cooking for two people and the meals that I had throughout the week didn't require courgettes or um I did get some things to add to this though to bulk it out because I'm, I'm not planning on having any uh what well, this is for this evening we're gonna have baked white fish and um roasted Mediterranean veg so to bulk it out, I'm probably going to add a bit more pepper, probably a little bit more onion. Um, I'm going to put some mushrooms in there as well. And probably some more tomatoes. Um, I've got an avocado. This this is for potentially having a little bit with my salad or um, on a morning. If most mornings I've got down that I'm going to have my coconut yogurt, um, 
like crushed up shreddy and berries but if I'm fancying something a little bit more savoury I can have half an avo with some scrambled eggs. Um, I love avocado especially guacamole but just avocado on its own is fantastic. I've got some rosemary, fresh rosemary sprigs for the beef stew. Um, cucumber, I think that's about lemon but I think that's about it. I did have quite a lot of leftovers from last week in terms, oh, apple, green apples this time. And another punnet of the amazing clementines. Honestly, they're just phenomenal. So yeah, that's that's about it for salad -y, vegetable, fruity kind of stuff. Um, I'll move on to dairy, I didn't really get much much dairy things so that so whoever if you watched last week you might remember that i got um i got one of these to try they are incredible just it tastes so much better than any cream cheese i've ever had philadelphia dairy all that sh sh shitty stuff this is unbelievable even if you're not like dairy free vegan or anything like that um, and you're a fan of like cream cheese I would highly recommend just trying this for the shits and giggles because it is so good. I've even converted my boyfriend who's not really into any kind of dairy free alternative things um, especially cheese and I try. I had like a spell cracker that I got in a hamper for Christmas and I had like a little bit of this with on the on the cracker and it was just so good and he agreed so um we both used a fair amount of that uh there's about half a tub left but while this was still an offer um and the date's pretty good I thought I'm gonna pick another one up because it's definitely gonna become a staple in my kitchen I also got some more dairy free spread um I've not really got any intention to use this for anything this week uh, and it's very rare I do use like butter or margarine these days but oh I've just realized that uh, it's got a bit of a cracked bottom but never mind um but it's good to have in the fridge just in case just in case something calls for it um so I'll just quickly show you the brand of yogurt I was talking about last time was the Coconut Collaborative. I um, I picked some up over the weekend because I ran out of the uh, the cocoa one that I had. I'm going to make this focus because it's so cool, the packaging. But um, this is my all-time favourite coconut yogurt. They don't sell it in Morrison's. I have to get it in my little local co-op. But it's so good. But I'm like down to about here so i needed to get some more for the next coming days i'm really trying to cut down on sort of like multiple visits to the shops and stuff so i saw the oat oatly i've had the oatly milk the oat milk um but now they have i don't know how new this is probably not it's probably been out for ages but i've never had oat yogurt and i'm so curious and excited to try mm. very very excited to try that so that's that's something really new um i'll let you know next time how i rate it against coconut yogurt coconut yogurt is the one but like i said i've never tried the oat one so we'll see how that goes i also grabbed some greek style cocoa coconut yogurt these are fairly like fairly smallish tubs. Um, probably, well, I don't know what the recommended thing is, but I always weigh them out. I think I have about 100 grams a time. So I get through these in a couple of days. And also if I'm wanting something sort of dessert-like on an evening, um, I, I might freeze a little batch of this and then it'll feel like it's frozen yogurt with a couple of berries and that's, that will feel like a, such a treat. Um, I also saw these, little cocoa 
peach and passion fruit um, little pots. And I was like, you know what, they sound delish. I'm gonna try them. Um, so they're 127 calories a pot and they're made from coconut milk. Yeah, dairy free, soya free. They've got Adam Cal added calcium and vitamins D2 and B12. So potentially maybe on a morning if I'm wanting something a little bit different, I can try these. Also like if I'm fancying uh, a sweet snack throughout the day. There, there. Um, grab some, some more tea. I am obsessed with tea. It is my favourite thing and I've had the cleanse one before. I haven't had it for a while though. So, and I'm getting pretty low on tea so I thought I would pick up another box. Um, moving on to sort of like meat and poultry and stuff. I got some cold water prawns just for snacks. Um, yeah, just uh, I got some king prawns and they're like little ones. For snacking. Another pack of bacon medallions. I'm going to plan to have a BLT um, little salad for breakfast or a BLT wrap um, for breakfast on Friday and Saturday morning as a little treat. I've got some haddock fillets for this evening. To have with the uh, Mediterranean vegetables. Um, I also got a big pack of chicken breasts. So these are to um, use for the chicken stir fry and the chicken fajitas. Now you can get like them already cut up but it's such better value just to get the, best, um, the breasts and cut them into sort of like the desired shapes that you want. Like the strips I find are best for stir fries and fajitas. To go with the fajitas I got some ready made guacamole and salsa. There's a lazy theme running throughout this haul but oh well. Um, and you might have remember, if you did watch last week's, you might remember me saying that hummus is a bit of a trigger food for me. Um, I usually start and can't stop but however this week I did grab myself some uh, reduced fat hummus to have with pepper cucumber that kind of thing um because I did really fancy it after I said it last week I was like I really regret not getting some so this week I did go ahead and get some and I'm just going to be really um really cautious of the fact that I'm not going to sit there with the tub I'm going to like dispense it out and weigh it and be cautious that I know I can eat one of these in just one go like not even joking uh I've got a couple more cut uh, tins of soup because I do plan to have soup every day this week for lunch that might sound boring but I really I really love soup at the moment and I find it very filling for the calories that that you know that you have I'm possibly gonna have these um I'll just show you I got the winter vegetable again one of my favorites the green vegetable and kale this one is such like so low calorie um but really really yummy and really filling i got another one of the winter vegetables but the other one i don't think i've had this one before but this is with roast chicken and a vegetable so if i am particularly like hungry come lunch time I'm trying obviously still to not eat bread and like sort of like gluten-y products and I'm a huge huge fan of um, rice cakes. I usually get the callow corn cakes, they're in like a green packet but I saw these ones which are lentil cakes and I thought wow they sound good and they're also a lot more nutritious. Um, they're only for Oh, it's 39 calories per 100 gram. So I don't know how... Oh, it's 30 calories per cake. So what I'll do is I'll have like maybe one or two with some soup and dip it in. It's just as nice as bread and I think it's better actually. 
super super tasty um and these i'll read the benefits so they're only 30 calories per cake high source of protein a source of fiber they've got no artificial colors flavors or preservatives vegetarian vegan and colic friendly gluten free so there we go and obviously you can use these in replacement of bread for like sandwiches they always have a really yummy looking serving serving suggestion on the back um so yeah they're a great go-to i grabbed some flavored water i went with peach and apple and elderflower i got some um just some plain sparkling water as well and then i got some sort of standard tortilla tortilla wraps for the fam for fajitas on friday um and then for myself i uh, i tried the the i think i've got one left let me just have a look so these were still on offer i got the plain ones like the the sort of just the standard white plain gluten free wraps and they're really nice i was really pleasantly surprised really really good so i've got a couple of them left but these ones were also on offer and these are the high protein with super seeds and i really i really love kind of like seeded seeded sort of bread so i was like wow I'll give them one to try this time. So they should last me a couple of weeks because I don't have them day in, day out. Oh, there's also a huge craze going around at the minute, isn't there, with, you, like, you cut halfway and then you fold it over. Um, I tried that last week on a BLT and it worked great, so that's probably what I'll do on Friday morning. Other than that, that's pretty... M oh, no, totally lame. I've got some kind of snacky things. So I've got some more pepperonis. Um, I've got some crackers just because if I'm craving something savoury as a snack, um, I think crackers and a bit of hummus or crackers and some of the dairy-free cream cheese would be good. Um, so per free crackers, these are 66 calories. I've had these a long time ago. They used to come. They used to have a different. A different version as well and they were really really good but um so i just picked these multi-grain crackers up as like a snacky thing i also these were on offer and i thought i really want to try them so they're kind of just like rolled up uh, fruit puree so this flavor is a strawberry and apple apparently super sour so that's good um so these are just like to throw in my bag if we go on a walk or like for a sweet craving snacks so they're 56 calories per bag and you get two little bags in that i also just got the the strawberry ones as well um i got some licorice because i've been craving this quite a lot so just the uh the panda panda licorice I got it in the bars because I find when I get the bags and it's got all of the, you know, um, like the big share bags, I find it hard to sort of like restrain myself from eating the whole thing. So I thought if they're like individual bars, that's probably easier to track and also like can have them on the go or whatnot. Um, I also got some jellies. Just thinking if with my fruit salads on an evening, they're only 10 calories, uh, strawberry and mango and passion fruit. Just if I want some fruit and jelly as a nice little treat. They used to do, this brand, the um, Hartley's brand used to do a watermelon flavour, but I feel like it's been discontinued because I've not seen it in like ten, um, about five years or something. But if anyone knows of where sells that flavour, please, please let me know because it's phenomenal. Um, got some sweets for my boyfriend. These are not for me. But I did see 
I'm like a huge, huge fan of orange chocolate. And all the Easter chocolate and whatnot has started coming out in the UK now. And I really love the Malteser bunny things. And they've brought out like a special edition orange chocolate. And I was like, oh, I know it's made with dairy and loads of sugar. But what you like once in a while doesn't kill you. So it's 156 calories and full of shit. But... A little treat if I if it's in my calorie which um, my calorie deficit it's not too much of a big deal so that's about it for food I did get a couple of items that are not food I'll just put them in anyway just so you can see I've got this really cute cup I'm really into sort of like a regular shaped and um, like crackle glazed pottery so saw that really loved it and got it and then I saw this soup this really lovely like soup bowl um, and you know that just jumped in the, the trolley and then I just picked up a good food healthy magazine just to have a flick through this week because I sometimes struggle with ideas for keeping things uh, fresh and new and I really do want to start cooking more and more healthier uh, meals and add a lot of variety to to them. So I thought this would help, just give me some inspiration. I'll have a flip, flip through and yeah, and I'll just quickly tell you what my meal plans are for this week. So tonight is baked whitefish with med veg. Tomorrow is chicken garlic stir fry. And then on Thursday I'm going to have like a really nice egg salad. Um, Friday night, Friday's my way in so I usually have something a little bit more calorific on Friday. So we're going to have chicken fajitas. Saturday we're going to have beef stew. And Sunday I'm going to have a Sunday roast. I've not really got anything for that at the moment because um, I didn't get beef either for the beef stew. Because we've got like a little farm shop just down the road. And I think I'm going to pop there really early on Saturday morning and pick up the the um, the beef for that and the whatever meat I'm going to have on Sunday. So yeah, that's it. I hope you like my second gr uh, grocery haul. Um, if you saw anything in this haul and you think, oh my God, you can't be eating that, that's horrendous, let me know below and give me some healthy suggestion alternatives for something different. If you also have any meal suggestions for next week, also let me know because like I said, I wanna switch things up and make things a little bit different and experiment with new healthy foods. But I hope you're all having a fantastic week um, and I hope you join me for my weigh-in on Friday. I have no idea how that's gonna go, but we'll see. I'm just trying my best over here. So yeah, so I'll see you all on Friday and have a fantastic rest of the week. Bye.